Item number, SCP-526. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. Armed containment area 31 has been established in a 15 kilometer radius around SCP-526-1, which has been officially designated as a military weapon testing site and proving ground with a no-fly zone in effect. A company-sized element is stationed at Station 526 Alpha to observe and contain the appearance of anomalous subjects from SCP-526-1 and is authorized to use deadly force in self-defense or in order to contain SCP-526. Approximately 30 minutes before dawn, all containment teams must be at full alert and must remain on alert until sunset or such time that all instances of SCP-526-2 have been terminated or otherwise rendered harmless. In case of overwhelming hostile contact, additional reinforcements may be requested by ACA-31 Command from Mobile Task Force Sigma-9, Valkyries, including artillery strikes and close air support if necessary. Description SCP-526-1 is a hill in Norway. SCP-526-1 is easily identified by a ring of nine stones, approximately two meters in height, with numerous runes inscribed on their inward surface and placed in a 10 meter radius centered on the top of the hill. Every day at sunrise, give or take 15 minutes, a group of individuals will appear on SCP-526-1 designated SCP-526-2, fully armed and combat ready. These individuals usually appear to be temporally displaced, but all individuals within a single instance of SCP-526-2 will be from the same time period and appear to in fact be from the same military unit. Instances of SCP-526-2 have numbered from 10 to 300 and have varied from primitive humans armed only with stone weapons to modern special forces units with sophisticated equipment. SCP-526-2 will typically fortify themselves on or around SCP-526-1 and in 92% of instances will simply remain stationary until sunset. In the remaining instances, SCP-526-2 will move away from SCP-526-1 and attempt to attack any individuals they encounter. Even when SCP-526-2 is stationary, however, SCP-526-2 will attack anyone attempting to approach SCP-526-1. Armed containment teams are stationed on site to observe SCP-526-1 and engage SCP-526-2 in case of aggression. Immediately after sunset, all instances of SCP-526-2 will disappear, whether alive or dead. SCP-526 came to the Foundation's attention on 19 after three individuals were hospitalized after being attacked by, quote, a bunch of Vikings with axes, end quote. Class A amnestics were administered to the witnesses, and additional reports have been attributed to delusional intoxication. Addendum 526-1 Notable Incident Log for SCP-526 Date 1990 Details Approximately 40 archers, probably English nationality, wielding longbows and swords. One containment team member wounded during reconnaissance. Date 1990 Details A group of 30 men, dressed in animal skins and wielding stone axes and clubs, attacked Site 526 Alpha and were terminated via automatic weapons fire. No Foundation casualties sustained. Date 2000 Details A platoon of 20 soldiers, Russian nationality, armed with rifles and wearing uniforms identified as being standard in the World War II era, traded fire with recon team, resulting in two casualties but otherwise remained stationary around SCP-526-1. Date 2000 Details A group of approximately 30 personnel armed with data expunged and data expunged identified as members of Mobile Task Force 
all declared KIA on while attempting to recontain SCP. Attempts to communicate with personnel failed, and containment teams sustained three KIA and 11 WIA before MTF Sigma-9 reinforcements arrived, and SCP-526-2 was suppressed with sustained support fire from Foundation AC-130 gunship Thor's Hammer. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-525, Eye Spiders, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.